It's looking like it's going to be quite a nice Thursday all around Uzanzi Africa. Mm. Now, listen, I don't know if you know this, but um, one of the biggest producers in the game right now, uh, who, who has various musical contributions to a lot of our biggest songs yeah. of last year, Anati, celebrated his 25th birthday on Monday. So happy belated birthday, so Anati, and doing great work. So uh, we thought we'd share some of the most interesting facts that you might not know about the hit maker for this hashtag Throwback Thursday. I, I cannot believe he's only 25, 25 years old when you consider old, what's kind of on his, his role at the moment. Yeah. Unbelievable. Um, what you might not know is that he was, um, he actually went to study at music school yeah. Um, yeah. but dropped yeah. out after a year. I wonder if they couldn't keep up with him. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the case, man. Um, and he was 16 years old at the time. Can you believe it? So, he, I mean, even though he dropped out, he still succeeded and he's yeah, making a big man. name for himself right now. He also uh, changed his name several times. He was once called Thundercat and then he once called Anati Royale and now it's just simply Anati. Um, Anate, and he seems like quite a humble guy as well, which might be he's a big part of that success. Praying. Thanks for putting he's, that. He's that always praying. Right up as I always said praying, that, When he was asked about um, who he's enjoyed working with the most, he, he literally rattled off all of the big names we, we're talking about. And this really is like the, the heavy hitters. Deleuze, Casper, Ricky Rick, AKA. He said each one of them has a completely unique talent set and he has learned so much from each of them, which yeah. is awesome, man. And it's also a very controversial question to ask somebody <laughs> yeah, in his position. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't want him to in the hip-hop game, who is your favorite hip-hop artist right now? <laughs> there we go, there we go. But, but, but <laughs> you, you've always got to hit, I feel like that's that nighty pose. And yeah, man. You, you, you have to the side, looking somewhere, <laughs> just, you know. Anyway, um, let us know who what your favorite South African rapper is. Let us know your thoughts on Expresso Show, using hashtag Expresso Show, and also hashtag Throwback Thursday. Who's yours, Graham? Do, do you have a favorite South African rapper? And you are allowed to say it. I don't... Are you don't, we allowed you, to? You don't have to say all of them. No, because... Okay, no, Cuesta. Cuesta? Yeah. For real? At the moment, yeah. Nah, he was I mean, just so good on the show last year. He was just me, so I'm awesome. from the old school, but like, double HP. Hip-hop Pantola is still the guy, man. He's still the guy. Oh, man, now you just ruined my career. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, listen, uh, uh, are we going to take a quick break? Yeah, then you better get ready uh, to get down as we get up to a little bit of Zumba. Yeah, and then a pineapple blueberry smoothie. All that deliciousness and more coming your way. Deleuze, I love you, though, bro. <laughs> I love you, man. <laughs>